Hello YouTube and welcome to the next text launch video with a brand new OnePlus X smartphone. So this time we are going to do the setup. We will insert our nano SIM card tray, uh, do the setup process, all the installations and then we have a quick look around which apps are pre-installed on the device, how much free storage we got, how well is the performance and all those first impression things. So let's search for our SIM card tray opener tool. This is this one here and uh, takes the phone on the right side. We got our SIM card tray opening. Uh, let's get the tray out. And there we go. We got our combination slot for our SIM card and for a SIM card and a micro uh, SD card. So no dual SIM mo mode uh, possible here. So slide it back in. And we push the on off button, push it, push it, push it, push it. And this will be my first, um, uh, first, first contact with the brand new or with the old one new one plus operating system. They are switched from Synergen mod to their own Oxygen OS. Um, but we still got the logo here uh, powered by Android because all of those mods uh, need Android or are on top of Android. And first, so <laughs> the first thing I didn't expect this one here. It's a it's a normal Android setup screen here. Let's see. Welcome English. Yes. Uh, next step, we also already see our battery indication here on top. It's nearly full. We got also connection. Uh, still no data connection. Oh, it's it's switching. Maybe we get a data connection now. First step is select Wi-Fi network. You could you can skip this one, but I'm at home, so I will connect to my home Wi-Fi. So I have now tried several times to connect or to check the connection because uh, I'm connected with my home Wi-Fi. The connection is working. My Wi-Fi is working. Everything is working, but the phone got some kind of troubles here. So I will now hit skip. If you skip, uh, okay, skip anyway, maybe we get some problems here. I can now personalize my phone, uh, but uh, no thank you. Protect your phone, set screen lock now. No, thank you. Don't, yes, skip anyway. I don't want to protect it. Google services. Uh, Sorry for the interruption, but this was another DHL guy who brought me the new Google Nexus 5X, uh, which I also have to test this week. So I'm really excited to test out both devices next to each other, of course. So where were we? Uh, it's using Google services. Use Google Location Services, yes, help improve, uh, no, help improve your Android experience, no, uh, no, no, no. So next. Uh, one plus setup we will now help you personalize your one plus experience this is nice because this is now the step that should be new uh, would you like to use software buttons instead of hardware buttons to navigate Ooh, i didn't know that i really had hardware buttons down here use software buttons oh no 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 i want the hardware buttons of course next mm, gestures double tap to wake yes open camera draw an o to start the camera um, I'm pretty sure I won't use this, but uh, if I can use it, I will try it out. Roy V to toggle flashlight. Yes, exactly the same with the O. Music control. Draw two with two fingers to play music. Oh, okay. I just activated to, to play around with. Now, input Swift key plus emoji or just uh, Google keyboard. Oh, this is tough. This is a tough one. I will start with the normal Google keyboard. Shelf. Shelf is a new feature in beta. It's space for you for you to keep organized and discover things you care about. You can access Shelf by swiping. Um, yes, just try and play with Shelf. Setup complete. Uh, your recent screens appears here. Yes, and now. Welcome. Got it. So, there we go. Now we are in the home screen and let's see if I really got no internet connection or if this is just a bug. Let's skip this one here and type in uh, text, text loth. Nah, text loth. 
and let's see. No, I'm online. I got a connection without problems here. So uh, there we go. Now, what do you, first impression? It's this is differently, okay. But this one looks definitely just like vanilla Android. Uh, what about chef? Just swipe, just double tap. Oh, just drawn. Oh no, does not work. So, but first of all, okay, we got our menu, which also looks like normal Android. Uh, let's swipe and now search about phone. So we got uh, three gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, Android version 1.1.1, Oxygen OS 2.1.0. Uh, let's see, what about storage? Storage, there we go. We got total space available 11.54 gigabytes and for us available 10.62. This is okay for 16 gigabytes phone. This is okay and don't forget you also got um, uh, the micro SD card uh, uh, slot available. What about brightness level? Adaptive brightness? Yes, of course. Um, maybe I have to turn it or maybe later sleep. Okay. Ambulant wake up screen when you receive notifications. Yes, please. Proximity way contactless screen wake up when your hands is near. Oh, these are really nice things. Uh, the one thing that is disturbing me right now is that I don't got bars. I can't see the bars on the button here. Of course I got in the middle. I got home on the right. I got the menu or the app switch button and on the left side I got back. I'm not sure if this is all right or is there th uh, the backlight, if I have to activate the backlight. What do we else do we got? We got our 4G connection, but it's not shown up here. Maybe because, uh, no thanks, not now, I don't want to. Yes, of course, I will log in into Google. I got the Google Play Store installed and first impression, it really looks like I've got uh, vanilla Android, but this one here. Definitely it's something new. So no Google now here yet um, But this uh, screen to personalize. What about the camera? Let's start the camera Ooh, nice menu and What do we got here? We got no first of all out of the box pictures. What about there? Take a picture. Oh, this is fast fast Yes, what about HDR? Where can I activate HDR there? So now saving with HDR takes definitely, whoa, takes definitely longer. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, could be faster, could be faster. Uh, but it's a nice animation because you can still see what's uh, on the backside of the camera. Um, so you don't have the impression that the device has frozen or anything. Clear image, HDR off, we got uh, timer, we got our uh, flashlight. What about, hmm, what about settings? I can't see any settings. We can switch the camera to the front facing camera. Hello again. Again, we got no, be we got beauty mode. Oh, the beauty mode was already activated. Let's see, yes, I can take a lot of pictures. So selfie shouldn't be a, selfie shouldn't be a problem. But what I'm missing is really an option here for for setting the picture quality. Oh, I have to swipe. Ah, there we go. So video, what about video quality? Full HD and 720p with the backside camera and with the front facing camera we got, no, there we go again. And we got also full HD with the front facing camera. This is nice, I like this one. What else do we got? Photo, video, panorama, slow motion and time lapse. So everything that you are needing. Oh, and there we go. There's the camera setup button. So there we go. Photo resolution. Uh, in 4x3 it's 7.6 megapixel. And if you switch down to... Okay. No. This is, uh, let's go back one part and change to the main camera and again settings and there we go 12.4 megapixel by 4 by 3 and 8 megapixel by 16 to 9 no i stay with the 12.4 megapixel grid shutter sound so everything that you would need is also there this looks really familiar to me uh, the design of course we will i have to change let's look uh, take a look at the pre-installed apps we got normal google stuff here we got also oneplus radio and 
Cheats, Slides, SwiftKey are looking okay. SwiftKey is definitely new, but we don't really got much pre-installed here. This looks really nice. And first impression, really a fluid device. Of course, it's brand new out of the box. I've not installed anything yet here, so it should run smoothly. So this is it. First impression, fast phone, nice phone. And I'm really excited to test the device in the next couple of days and do a lot of comparison videos. This is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!